Hey, and welcome back to Connectors 101 training by Crush and Ag Supply. And today we're going to kick off the final leg of our standard connector journey with the Metropac 630 series. So just like the other episodes, we're going to do a quick run through of all the Metropac and hopefully by the end of this, you'll have a pretty good understanding of the basics of their infrastructure. So what you need to know and what we're going to cover, uh, we've got sealed connectors and unsealed. We're putting all of our emphasis into the sealed connectors and identifying these connectors fairly easy. You can always look at the blade size, which is the 150 series are going to be a 1.5 millimeter and the 630 series, which we're covering today are a 6.3 millimeter. So it's going to be uh, all millimeter tied to their series. Uh, when making connection kits, a pull to seat connection is only going to have the terminal and the body, whereas a standard complete uh, standard connection kit is going to require the connector body, the terminal, a TPA lock, and the cable wire and cable seal. So breaking down the different series of Metropack, we've got a 150.2 series Metropack, which is the pull to seat, just like the 630 has a pull to seat version as well. Uh, then there's also the 150 standard, 280, 480, and 630 sealed connectors, which is what we're gonna cover today. Uh, the series of connectors, just so you can help identify by the connector bodies, uh, this is a 150 series. These are 150.2s, 280s, 480s and 630s what we're covering today and then these are the 630 pull to seat connections the 630 series are only available in two and three circuit configuration and these are uh, these are ideally suited for your high current applications uh, fuse blocks uh, high, high current power uh, controlling a running for a controller or something of that nature uh, shown here are the two available plug connectors, the female side that's available. Uh, the red one here is going to require a TPA lock, whereas the other one here, which is a, a technical, it is a pull to seat connector, but does have a mate to it as well. On the male side, there's, there's the male tower. The TPA locks are, are also just like the 150 point, the 150 series. The TPA locks are universal, so they don't require anything, uh, no gender specific. The connector here, which is what you would make with one of the pull to seat connectors, this is where the 630 series is just a little bit different. It doesn't require any TPA lock, but it does require a cable seal, which these in black are, are a 12 gauge. So breaking this down, the standard connector, like the three way, you have your your plug, your plug body, then you have your male receptacle, and then these are your three choices of wire seals, and then you have to have a terminal or a contact. Uh, as you see here, I've got two types of contacts or sockets. This with this little tang right here, these are gonna be for your, for your pull to seat connections. The tang lists are gonna be with your standard connection. And then for this version shown, uh, this is the mating TPA lock. Your cable seals are available with a 16 gauge red, uh, a gray. We don't really have a standard. I mark this as normal. Uh, it really depends what kind of wire, whether or not you're running an SXL or a GXL coated wire and what gauge is gonna be. So having these on hand is, is pretty handy. This black one here, uh, this is for that, that male connector on the two way that plugs into this here. On the receptacle bodies, there's only two. We've got this one. This is the one that plugs into that two-way. Here's the three-way. Uh, you've also got your, your choice of wire seals, just like the others. Uh, and then you have a pin connector. And you can see that as the series have gone on, these are just a little bit wider. That's a 6.3 millimeter, more of a heavier duty power connector. And then this is the, term, this is the TPA lock that mates with this three-way male. Now the specs on the series, uh, your cable range is about the same as the 480. The current range is, is higher, instead of a 42, it's a 46 amp. Uh, and the blade width is a 6.3. So you can tell it's just made for just a little bit higher power. These are traditionally also used for making inline fuse kits as well. Uh, just like 
all the Metropac series are used with automobiles, under the hood, agriculture, farm equipment, uh, anything you can possibly think of that's going to require a high power. These are going to fit that really, really well and they don't require uh, any real weatherproofing system in addition to it. There is a CPA lock that's available to help keep the connectors together uh, additionally. And we also, we also offer these, to make this simple, we do offer these in a dash K kit, so you can get the mail connector with the seal and the two terminals, or we offer them in our PRK kits as well, or plug receptacle kits. It's gonna have everything that you need for both sides of the connection, the plug, the receptacle, the sockets, the pins, and the remaining TPA locks. So trying to make that just a little bit more simple. We know this is really confusing, especially when you get into the 630 series where you have a lot of choices for gauges, you have a lot of choices for wires, wire size, uh, and then trying to use the pull to seat with the standard connection. It all gets a little bit heavy, but if you do have questions, give us a shout, info at crushinag.com, and we're happy to help. That's what we do here. Uh, look for more videos out there. We've got them on the 150 series. We're gonna put some out on the 150.2 series, the 280 series, the 480, and uh, we're also gonna do some videos on crimping and, and how to do removal tools, so be sure to check those out. And if you learned something today, we appreciate it if you subscribe or like or share or leave a comment. We love feedback. It's always good. And, and that's how these things keep growing. So we really, really do appreciate it. And anything else, give us a holler. Thanks. Till next time.